Well, the video of two students having sex popping up on the cell phones of their peers at Fletcher Middle School this week. On your side's Brianna Ray Turner is live tonight at that school and Brianna sending around a video like this. It's a crime. Yeah, that's right. Crime, crime analyst Mark Bachman says the bottom line is that sharing explicit video um, involving sexual acts is still a crime, uh, regardless of the regardless of them being a juvenile. Uh, he tells me if one of the people inside or one of the um, people inside that video uh, were an adult, the penalties would have been a lot stricter. The principal from Fletcher Middle School sending out an alarming message to parents saying in part quote, I'm calling to share some disappointing news, but it is news I believe you need to be aware of as parents. We've recently learned that someone sent inappropriate obscene video with students via text message and airdrop. McKenzie says the school is working closely with law enforcement on the investigation. He says they have already identified one individual allegedly involved. The spokesperson for the Jacksonville Beach Police Department says juvenile citations have been issued and the school is aware of it. Based upon what I know, it sounds like there was maybe the male was the driving force behind getting this out to his friends and then it was solicited or transmitted throughout other phones. But I'm, that's what I've learned from my source. First Coast News crime analyst Mark Bachman says more than likely the people involved in the video won't be charged, but there will be some form of pretrial intervention. And they'll be working closely with the school, so it could be some school expulsion, some other disciplinary actions, maybe even moving individuals away from certain uh, schools to another school. This is still an ongoing investigation and the Jacksonville Beach uh, Police Department says since this investigation is dealing with juveniles, uh, information is limited. I'm live here in Jacksonville Beach. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side. A house 